Hey there, welcome back to Terra. This is another explainer video. This is specifically for our new feature around progress monitoring. So if you are accessing progress monitoring, either as a special educator or a teacher who's got a specific caseload of students, uh, what you will do is go to your MyHQ tab, and then the fourth tab available next to your resource bank is now called progress monitoring. So first thing you'll do is you'll click into the tab, Typically, if it's your first time, you'll see an on-screen guide up here, but uh, in lieu of that, I'm just gonna walk you through some of the main features you can do here. So the first thing you can do and you'll wanna do is add your students. So I've already added one in here for an example, but I'll go through the process one more time. So you click the plus student button and you can add as many students as you like. So I'll just put in a couple here to get us going. Um, Jessica Smith and Wow, Mary, yeah, Martin, a couple of Martins here. All right, so you click save. You can always go back and edit the, the um, names of the people. So we'll just call her Mary Scott. And uh, you can always add students later. There's no restrictions on any of that. So now you've added your students. The next thing you'll usually want to do is add in the goals for a specific student. So this is where it's a little different. In order to keep it all on this screen so you don't have to go other places, we pack everything right into each student. You can expand the students by either clicking on their names. So if I click Jessica, you'll see it'll pop open. For Alex, I already have a couple of goals in here. So that's what we're working towards. Uh, I'm going to go back to Jessica. And so you'll click her name or click the arrow and you'll see the add goal option. So this is where you'll click, you'll add a goal. And so maybe um, we'll say proficient with addition and subtraction equations. And then you can select the type of goal. So you can either choose from one of the defaults. For instance, we have math here, which is what I'll use for this, or you can add in your own. So you can always customize this to make it your own and work for you. We know everybody has different goal types for their students. So I'm gonna select math, then I hit save, and now you'll see it's popped up right here and it has my little label for math. This is really helpful too, because you can change views. So you can either view by student, but we also know some teachers like to view by goal type. So if you click on goal type, instead of by student, it'll actually show you the goal categories here. So if I click on math, We'll see, we've got one for Alex, who's already in there, and then the new one I just added for Jessica. And this can be really critical too when you go to export your progress reports. But going back to student, and I'll go back to Jessica, and let's say now I've got my goals in here and I wanna add in some objectives. So again, you just click on the goal and down will pop the add new objective. So for this one, maybe we'll say she'll um, get proficient or we'll, we'll say, get through 20 um, equations in less than five minutes. We want uh, Jessica to feel like she's math whiz and to really get her skills up. So that's our objective, one of which will lead up to goals. And now here's where it gets really good. So in the beginning of the semester, you'll probably add in your goals and objectives, but now you wanna actually add in the updates, right? The progress notes so that you can keep track of how she's doing. So this again, you're just gonna click on objective or the arrow, I'll do the arrow this time. And now you see this add update option. And this is the last option in uh, this field. So we'll click add update. Let's say Jessica just did an exit ticket last class. So you click add update. You can check out the, the date. So maybe it was last Friday. Now uh, we can see from her exit ticket that Jessica had um, a lot of success and was confident during the exit ticket. And notice I'm not putting any of her scores in the actual notes section because we left uh, a specific section over for your school's here, scores here. So this is very flexible. So let's say I did a five question um, exit ticket with Jessica and she got all five questions right, or you know, let's make it 10. So let's say she got 10 questions right. Now I can select the metric to go with that. Again, we have some defaults. So we've got percentages, minutes, total, you could do out of 10, it's one of our defaults. So that's what I would probably choose. Or you can always add in a new one again, you wanna make it customizable for you. So we'll say she got a 10 out of 10. And then if you wanna actually attach her student work, you can always do that. But since this is a demo, I won't, I won't go through that part. Then you hit save update and now it's right in there. And again, you can add as much detail as you'd like. 
can go back and add more updates. You can always go back and edit right here. You don't have to leave anywhere. Just click save. And now uh, you've added in your goals, objectives, and one update for Jessica. And then you can just wrap that back up and move on to your next student. And again, if you switch to goal type, we go into the math. We see that both of them are here and you can expand here and see the progress. So you don't have to do it all by student type. You can also always search um, for the students. So if I just want Jessica, because I know a lot of people have a good amount of students, she'll pop right up. And the last thing I'll show you, and I'll, I'll use Alex as an example, because I've had a couple of goals. I've got, he's got math goals and social cognitive goals and some updates in here. And so if you actually want to um, download a progress report, you just hit this download button. Or if you want to download all your students' progress reports, you can hit the export all button. That is always available. Let's do Alex's just for an example. So you click the download button. You'll see I've got my download and I'll pop it open. And the cool thing here is that it automatically organizes it for you into nice charts. So we can see Alex Smith. Let's zoom in here a little bit. We've got the goal, we've got the type, the objective, and then each of those notes that I, that I logged in here. And another objective, again, another update, and then it separates it by goal and objectives. So you've got a quick and easy progress report, instantly spit out, um, and you can do that for every single student. Uh, so we're really excited about this. We're obviously gonna continue to improve it, but this should be a great way to start tracking your students' goals, objectives, and progress updates using the new progress monitoring tab.